Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Glasgow. Well, Eddie. I'm just oh, here as a fan. I was walking upstairs, fan. you grabbed me. Exactly. You're getting worse than Coogan. See, the thing is, no. I've gone months and months and months without an Eddie Hearn interview. Yeah. Like three in a week. I know. Three in I a know. week. Well, then, I'm here as a fan. Yep. Um, didn't go down well with the missus. I've worked every weekend for about the last three years. And she's like, what are we doing Saturday? I was like, I'm just going to pop up to Glasgow. You haven't got a show. Yeah, yeah, to pretend I was promoting tonight. I was like, no, I have. World Boxing Super Series. Find out now. Yeah, yeah, she said, don't worry, she won't watch it. She's like, what's the World Boxing Super Series? I went, oh, new thing we're working on. <laughs> Just here as a fan, it's a great show. And obviously, we've done the deal with uh, Sky and Keller and the World Boxing Super Series. So. Great night of boxing, really excited to just be here without any worries, Good just, just to, to enjoy it. Well, let's talk about, you've had two of your, your fighters early on, mm -hmm. we had uh, Martin J. Ward yep. and John Dock. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about Martin J. Ward, mm -hmm. I think last time I spoke to you, you mentioned Ryan Garcia, yep, yep. Stephen Smith, Smith yep. and even up uh, Tim Farmer. Yep. Every one of those in play. Um, Stephen Smith is the, the realistic next fight, um, he boxed last week in Nottingham. Tonight for Wardy was just about him getting out you know he hasn't boxed since the end of November mm -hmm. I wanted really to get him out in March um, but it was just a case really of getting the rounds in before he's thrown into anything he will fight anyone now and he should do because that stage in his career so whether it's Stephen Smith whether it's Ryan Garcia whether it's those guys that's what's next for Martin Wall John Doherty is a fucking absolute animal I can't get him any rounds he just knocks everybody out He's extremely heavy handed, he's very aggressive, he don't stop. I think that's, well he's five wins now, five KOs, but four first round knockouts or something like that. I mean he's, and the mad thing is, is that he come through the amateurs for the GB team, never being a huge puncher. And Tony Sims took him on and said, can this kid can punch? And he's an animal, he's going to be a real, real handful at 168 pounds. Well as a Scotsman, yeah. I've got one more, excuse me, I'm going to have a bias. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've not, been up, no, you've not been up here, mm -hmm. you're up here now, but you've mm -hmm. not been up here promoting. Could you somebody, you've built fighters before, could you yeah. build somebody like John Dodd? Yeah, of course, you can, build, you can build anyone in Scotland if they're good enough. Because the passion that you guys have is massive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you look at Ricky, you look at Josh Taylor, you could, I can hear Lee McGregor now yeah. fighting, you know. Same with John Doherty, is if you're good enough, you will get the support here. That's a given. You know, it's not a given in other cities. But to come here, I mean, I'm just getting, so abused by fans, I was going to say mobbed, that weren't the right word either, but when you come back to Scotland, fucking hell, you ain't been up here for ages, so we haven't, you know, unless Ricky's in a big, big fight, which hasn't really presented itself, who else are you going to come up to Scotland with? So really, you need someone like John Doherty to come through, but he's a lot, you know, he's still a year away from headlining cards, but he's 5-0, He's moving very quickly, and now we've got to try and find someone that can give him rounds. I don't know who people think I am, but every time I get tweets saying, "Ask Eddie when he's coming to Scotland." Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Come. Listen, what the Scottish fans need to know is, if I had an excuse to be here, I would be here in a fucking heartbeat because it is amazing. I mean, you know, I, I go to the places where you can create an atmosphere. I go to the places where there's some passion, and that is where it is: Scotland, Liverpool. Newcastle, you know, these these cities and others that I've missed out as well, but you know, I want to be back here and that's why I've come up here tonight. I might not have come up here if this was somewhere else that wasn't Scotland and you know, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm desperate to come back to Scotland. Staying on the top of Scotland then, the headline mm. tonight, main, main mm. event, Josh Taylor. Um, you've got more Sky Sports, you've yeah. got deal with Cala and the World Boxing Series mm. like you said. I just want to get your opinion on Josh, I mean, mm -hmm. you're here for, as a fan, but yeah. You're obviously busy as a promoter with your own fight, isn't that? Yeah. But have you seen much of Josh? Yeah, loads. I mean, What's your look, when, when Josh came out of the GB system, I think he had a little bit of hand injuries. You know, he wasn't, you know, he was always a brilliant amateur. Um, for some reason, we never really, I can't even remember if we spoke to him, but he was either one that slipped through the net or one that didn't work out for some reason. And I've watched him consistently. You know, um, whether it's catching up on fights later on, which I always do yeah. because I'm a boxing pervert, and he's looked very, very good. That's my title. Yeah, yeah but what, what I like is I like the fact that tonight we find out. You know, if he's as good as people think, if he's as good as I think, if he's as good as Shane thinks, Barry thinks, we find out tonight because he's in with a world class fighter. Probably not a saying an elite fighter, he's an elite fighter, he's world champion, but not, not a pound for pound fighter in Berencic, but someone that is world class, extremely competent, heavy handed at times, rough, physical, 
So we're going to find out. And that's one of the reasons I'm here, because I'm intrigued to know. And if he can do it tonight, he becomes a big star. And, you know, whether that's we get a chance to work with him in the future with Cyclone, whether that's he stays on Sky and we do the final, I or we do something beyond. Yeah. You've got the semi-finals. We've got the semi-finals. This is just a one-off deal. This was a case of, look, me and Calla talk all the time. Mm. And obviously I've known that there hasn't been a UK home for the World Boxing Super Series this season. It's a really good concept. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's just like boxing. Sometimes you get a good show, a bad show. Sometimes someone pulls out and it fucks you. Yeah, yeah. Right? But tonight is a really good card. And I looked at that. And obviously we're doing a lot in America. We had a slot um, in, in May for a UK show. And I was like, I want to buy it. I want to put it on. And the deal worked out. Obviously we've got Brazil the same night with Wilder tonight. So it's a huge double header. And um, you know, I'm not afraid to use my pot, if you like, yeah. to create great content or put on great content for subscribers. Of course it is, yeah. yeah. But people like some boats with me, it's the best night on Sky and you're not doing it. It's like, <laughs> don't worry about that, mate. You've got it. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? But my job is to put the best content on Sky. 95% of the time from me, produced by me. But if I get a chance to put a show like this on mm -hmm. for Sky viewers, fucking right. I mean, that's my job, you know? So... Yeah, I think it's brilliant. And whether we do the final, that's to be discussed. But obviously, if Josh wins, then something that we really want to look at. Well, you touched on that. This guy mm. got Dominic Brazil. And yeah, Deontay yeah. Wilder. I didn't do that deal because they, no, they, they get they get a bit uh, they get a bit um, upset if I start saying that I did that deal really? because no, no, that was just okay, one. So yeah, yeah. They came to Sky and Sky said to me, "What do you think?" And I said, "Fucking grab it," because yeah. Wilder, although we have our differences, is hugely entertaining one of the biggest stars in the sport. And again, to have him defending his world title on Sky, especially two weeks before oh, yeah. AJ, is a must. You stand up to watch it? No, I won't. <laughs> I, I, I don't, um, what, what I'll do is I'll wake up in the night and if I'm in time, I'll get it on social media. Or on this occasion, I'll pop downstairs and, and get it on yeah. and put it on Sky. Generally though, I, like, I quite like waking up you know, and then going, fuck, the and then, and then yeah. and you look at it, so Deontay Wilder has been knocked out in three rounds, you know, <laughs> and I hope he does. Is that a prediction? You, you probably heard my interview before. I just think that, when you talk about his comments about, you know, the killing ask, people and stuff. On that? What's your thoughts on that? Um, I just think that he's trying to sell that they haven't sold many tickets and that's not a, that's not a dig, that's just mm -hmm. fact. And if you watch the weigh-in yesterday, there's no one there. So it's not, he has to do outrageous things. He has to, and by the way, like I would like to promote Deontay Wilder. He's a very good talker. He's a good self-promoter. He can really sell a fight. But sometimes he has to do and say things where he pushes that a little bit too far, right? This thing, when you start talking about yourself in the third person and start saying that I'm two people, I'm Deontay and I'm the bronze yeah. bomber, it's like, that's all very well. If you start believing that shit, that's when something bad can happen for your career because you're not in the moment. You're, you've lost the plot, right? And there is a real chance that he has lost the plot here because I think he's made some poor career decisions. I think he doesn't really know what he's doing or has he really got hold of his career? Does he know what's going on behind the scenes? Yeah. He started saying all this stuff about killing people. He's talking about himself in the third person, these two people. Like, I'm hoping that he goes out after and goes, do you hear me talking about fucking two different people? This is great. But I, I'm not sure. I think maybe he is even saying to like his friends, going, okay, I'm back now, Deontay. And they're like, going, all right, mate. Well, like, yeah. yeah, so if he is, if he is, you know, I always think that, I mean, unless you, you've got to stay mentally stable mm -hmm. as a fighter and as an athlete because once you start believing your own hype and i say this to aj all the time and he's probably one of the few people that i really believe won't go down that road but once if aj started going yeah yeah like you know rocking into clubs and like i'm fucking world champ baby champagne everywhere <laughs> yeah yeah it's me too <laughs> you can forget about it yeah. something's gonna go wrong yeah. and things can go wrong anyway so if that's happened to wilder he's gonna be in a really tough fight tonight and he could lose if he's okay, if he really is focused, yeah. he wins. But I'm intrigued to see it. It's heavyweight boxing. Anything yeah, can happen. happen. Yep. You know, Br Brazil's got as much chance as Andy Ruiz in this fight, right? They can both win. 
they're unlikely to win, but they can both win and they're both very dangerous. And if someone's not on it, if someone's you know, mentally not there, in the, in the moment, they can easily lose these fights. So I'm looking forward to seeing one. Well, I've seen you retweet my, my little clip on the Freddie Roach when he, because he obviously trained and, mm. Andy Ruiz for seven years. Yeah. He said, do not underestimate him. No, mate, every, I, do, can't, I, can't, I can't even tell you how many people are telling me in boxing, you know, this is a fuck, tonight, mm. people at ringside, this is a tough fight, Ruiz, you know. I mean, you see Bob Arum the other day, you know, with his stuff with Frank on, yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. and they, they played the clips of like a year and a half ago when he was fighting Parker or however long it was, and he goes, Andy Ruiz, he is such a great heavyweight, fast hands, this, and when he beats Joseph Parker, Ruiz against Joshua is a great fight, a big fight. The next thing was, oh, he's useless. Oh, well. So you've got to keep it real, but you've got to speak to people who know their boxing. And everybody that knows their boxing says the same thing. This is a much tougher fight than Jarrell Miller. This is a bad style for AJ, but unfortunately, Andy Ruiz, Exactly. See another another man there. Yes. Andy Ruiz looks like me in a pair of shorts. That's the downside. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, Eddie. Come on. He give does. Some he credit. does. Come he on. does. Trust me. But that's what the casual fan will see. Mm -hmm. That's the tough sell for us because I want all these people in boxing that are saying mm -hmm. this about eight, Ruiz. Now I'm like, can, can you can tweet it? That's why I retweeted your interview yeah. because people like Freddie Roach. When, when, yeah, yeah, but when he talks about him, you can't not believe him. You can't forget it. He's got yeah. no reason to speak positively mm -hmm. about Andy Ruiz or negatively. He's just telling you the truth. So this is a real fight and I'm nervous for the fight. I'm a lot more nervous two weeks out for Ruiz than I would have been for Miller. Miller would have been perhaps a more physical fight, but this is a more dangerous fight. This is a, this is a, a, a fight where sparks are gonna fly because Ruiz, Ruiz is gonna come, he's got great upper body movement, he's got fast hands, big hooks, can be letting his hands go. It's going to be, I believe AJ will knock him out, I'm but I, I think the first four or five rounds will be fucking double lively. Good. Excuse my language. No, you're like, you're CFL TV. Yeah, yeah, you're true, like, yeah, true, fuck you're, it. You're, you're like, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, quickly, uh, we spoke about the WBC order in Tyson mm. Fury and mm -hmm. Gillian White, but then I think after our, our interview, Tyson came out on Instagram saying, make it for the diamond WBC. Yeah, but well, what's I, your thoughts I, on I that? Think that Di I think Tyson put himself in an awkward position by saying, you can't order me to do anything. I'm not fighting for a final eliminator. So he came out about the diamond belt. Fact is, Tyson Fury is not going to fight Dillian White on a 50-50 split ordered by the WBC. I'm sorry, he's not. But we'll take that fight. But our request, which has been lodged you know, previously, is, and the fight that was announced weeks ago, Dillian White against Oscar Rivas, interim WBC world title. If Dillian wins, he's the mandatory to Deontay Wilder. Now, Wilder will have another bout in between. No problem, we'll fight Tyson Fury. If you want to order that fight after the Reverse fight, no problem, do it, because he won't take it, right? But what I will say is, Dillian White has been mandatory, has been, sorry, has been number one for 570 days, right? Mm. He has fought Derek Chisora, yeah. he has boxed Robert Hellenius, Parker. he has boxed Lucas Brown, Parker, Chisora again, and now Oscar Reverse. You have a man fighting tonight in Dominic Brazil, who got knocked out by AJ, then boxed Uganu and Eric Molina, and he's mandatory for the WBC, and he's ranked four in the governing body. How on earth does that, and you know, I have to make it clear, I like Maurizio Sulem, you know? He does an amazing job at the WBC. They do so much positive stuff. Yeah. Weight management, VADA testing, this new code of conduct, which would be very yeah. interesting with Deontay Wilder's comments. But do what is right, I'm, appeal I'm appealing to Maurizio Suleiman and the Board of Governors at the WBC to do what is right. 560 days as your WBC number one. He's dedicated his whole professional career to the WBC. He has turned down final eliminators with other governing bodies to try and win the green and gold belt. We're not asking for favors. We're just asking you to do what is right. You are boxing people. If he beats Rivas, he deserves this shot, yeah. right? So let's not mess around. After the Wilder fight, let's get it out there. Let's confirm it. Oscar Rivas, interim world title, mandatory position for Deontay Wilder. It's only fair. And I believe they'll do it. I really do believe the WBC will approve this request. I've got one more question, but I kind of feel because you're a fan, I might just let you go. Or go I could on. just ask the question. I'm going to ask the question. Wilder came out and said that the AJ versus him fight is worth $100 million purse. Yeah, to him. To him, is that what he's... 
the, un like, the, only ple the only pleasing thing is uh, when you read every post now from Deontay Wilder, read one. Mm -hmm. People now know the truth because the truth has come out and he's just basically keeps telling that he's just telling you him or his team or whoever don't want the AJ fight. He said the other day, we won't even take 50-50. Mm -hmm. Or we wouldn't offer him that one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So now he wants 100 million. Do me a favour. I hope people just realise now, this man does not yet want the fight. He ain't scared of AJ. He just is happy fighting these other fights for money. He doesn't want to risk anything. And it's really annoying. And again, as much as I appeal to the WBC, I appeal to the fans of the sport. And I'm glad you're finally getting to see the truth. Keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Because you put the pressure on me, when you thought we didn't want it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now this man is telling you to your faces he don't want it. Keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Come and tell the fans. Keep the pressure on. <laughs> make the fights. You're the ones that can make the fights. The fans are the ones that make yeah. the fights because you keep the pressure on and in the end they have no choice. Right, Eddie, should we go and get Cheers, a fight? Mate. Yeah, cool. lovely. Thanks very much.